Oops, did somebody leave my feet here? Oh, I tell you, did you always see that is? Who was that? That was uh, um, the, the timekeeper man. Should we live Cliff War? Aye? Aye, you're the bike there, aye? Bloody, what's he doing along here? I might debate the scene here along the gym. Ah. Shuey was a good boxer, you know. Aye? Was it a uh, champion? This is coming up with nails now on the right hand side. Nails little uh, farm. So is it a farm that he lives on? It's his farm, he's, he's, his farm, he's got his horses, his fields. And this is uh, his gym's just up the draw, yeah. Right, we're going to see his gym. Come on, boys. Talking horses. Right in here. Hoop, hoop, hoop. I think this would be his old gym in there. His horses would be nailed. That was his house? No, it's his old gym. Ah, the old gym. Hello, horse. Hiya. Hiya, how you doing? Hiya. How you doing? Hello, mate, yeah. Bit fresh air? Yeah, I'm right, I'm a piss. Oh, hi. <laughs> Drain the main vein, eh? Okay, we're finally here at Fannin's Gym. Pete Magazine making its first visit, and we're going to go and see Gary Fox, Neil Fannin, Martin Ward, Tommy Ward, hopefully everybody's in having an effort here. Where, where is Gary Fox? Obviously not everybody's working at the moment. <laughs> at the toilet. He's got to make weight. Hiya bud. This is Fannin's gym. The main man. You put Mike Smile one dear. Nah. Not one day soon anyway. Mike Smile one dear. <laughs> Wind. Wind. <laughs> we left that suit. I'm behind the mask swimming. Come here at a bad time, you know what I mean? Don't you look at this. I'm usually well groomed. <laughs> <laughs> Is he even grooming you? <laughs> ah, I let him. <laughs> Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Pete Magazine. We're here with Neil Fannin. Finally made it to Fannin's gym. Down with the boys. Ahead of the Summer Rumble in less than two weeks' time. Preparation almost done now. Yeah, it's just about one down now, really. You know, just ten days to go. It's ideal, you know, just a little bit more relaxed than that and just concentrate. Is it more focusing on ticking down and making weight at this stage, like the sparring's out the way and things? Yeah, the, uh, you know, we bring the weight down gradual anyway, yeah. but the last couple of pounds, you know, when we take it easy in the, uh, in the gym and just... Lose a couple of pounds and then just an well, idea. Obviously, with Martin going up the super bantam weight now, it's you're not going to have the same struggles as you had when he was fighting at bantam. No, he um, it's it's a lump easier, you know. Just takes the pressure off the uh, the fight really. Making weight was as hard as the fights uh, at bantam weight. Yeah. Now obviously it's a disappointment that Martin hasn't been able to fight for the English title, but it's still good he's getting out there. He's, he's, he's keen to get out there, and you've also got obviously his younger brother Tommy fighting for his first title. And obviously, Mr. Gary Fox is coming back as well, so we've got a bit of a full house on the card this time. Yeah, well, considering I had nobody on last year, the, uh, yeah. the what they call it, uh, be a bit more uh, work to do this time. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. And, and Martin, he, he, the English title fell through, but the uh, we still. You've got to be pro professional, you know, and just take everything as it comes. You know, like it's like the lads say to me, "Oh, the disappointment about that." And my answer is, "That's boxing." Yeah. You know, just so you just keep 
keep your eye on the target sort of thing and you know the main goals and just keep working to them well it's one of those things it's like you can have a, a title fight arranged and it can fall through but sometimes you can be keeping yourself fit keep yourself at the gym and then like a last minute cancellation where you actually opportunity comes in the same way yeah well sometimes the best uh, fights come when you know at short notice yeah. but we're in the gym most of the time you know and just and it is good that Martin can still be on the bill because lots of times with lots of promoters you know, the fight falls through, so you're off sort yeah. of thing. Well, you know, there was never, ever any option of putting them off. You know, it was just getting them the right opponent. Well, it's all, uh, I suppose, with him fighting the two band them now, it's obviously easier for him, but he's fighting guys who are bigger, so it's still good for him getting that out and out against yeah, the, the higher uh, weight. The, the all, all fights is good, you know, because it just... And the camp, the, that's, I go with it. Yeah, that, uh, it's... That's what you train for, and that's what it's all about, you know, getting yeah. in the ring, you know, and just, and you, that's the most realistic thing you can get towards a title fight is getting in the ring, you know, just even if it's only six rounds. Or, like, we keep saying only, but it's six rounds is a long time. Three minutes is a yeah. long time, yeah. just even when people are doing the boxing training. So, anybody who's done boxing training will have an idea of how tough it really is in there yeah. but still won't know how tough it is no it's it's the mental pressure in boxing you know like just in uh, in a six round fight it's 18 minutes boxing and there's five breaks in between yeah you know as soon as sit down you don't like if somebody says relax you do your best to relax but it's hard to relax oh. because then 10 seconds you know like you get a minute's break but it, you're not on your stool a minute, it's 40 seconds or something. Yeah, By the time you sit exactly. on your stool and stand up and then ready to go, you know, so it's pressure. It's a lot of pressure, and a lot of people don't realise that the, the, the brain uses up so much blood and energy no, and things no. like well, that. That's it's what, you know, if if it was just as easy as punching the bag, it's, it's the, you know, nobody would ever it. tire, you know, but it. Uh, it's the mental pressure what tires you. Well, I remember David Price's second fight with Tony Thompson. He was gassed after three rounds, yeah. but that wasn't because of the physical activity. It was the nerves <coughs> and the anxiety because obviously what happened with yeah, the fight before. The, um, that's, you know, some fighters can never cope with it, you know. Some fighters, there's always a gym fighter. And it's not because you'd say, oh, he gets in the ring and he just, he, uh, he, he hasn't got the bottle or anything. It's just, they're just tire you know yeah. drained mentally drained you know mentally and physically drained when they get in there i suppose from your your point of view it's a, as well as a trainer you're a bit of a psychologist as well obviously with that in mind well you know over the years your experience you can read things a little bit yeah. you know and you can tell uh, some fighters just are struggling a little bit you know yeah. and just but uh, you know you just you've got to just try and like help them along sort of thing yeah. but some you can't help. Exactly, and it's one of those things, I think when you've seen certain things before, you can recognise them, yeah. but again, some people just are the way they are. Yeah, well, it, it's just, I don't believe that, uh, like in most things in life, you want to talk negative, you know, just, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it just makes everything harder, but, you know, like, some fighters start talking negative, you know, the, the day yeah. of the fight, and, and when you're at the venue, and, and you think, well... And if you're thinking that way, then... You're up against it, so... So, obviously, with your three guys on the on the Summer Rumble show, the, the tickets are going, apparently, it's going to be a great event. Yeah. Um, probably going to the, the busiest Summer Rumble there's been yet. And, obviously, you play a, bit, a big part in the previous ones and the build-up, obviously, working yeah. with Phil as well. I know whenever he gets any congratulations, he always makes sure he gives you a strong mention in there as well, you know. <coughs> so, obviously, being involved with this one, <coughs> and having, having the three lads on there is... And any concerns about the lads or no you know like all I ever do me is like I do my job in, in the gym and, and make sure that they're fit enough to fight and ready yeah. mentally and physically ready you know and then it's like it's down to them in a way you know And but I, I'm always satisfied like over the years I've always been satisfied I've done my job you yeah. know and I think well you know now it's it's still a team effort, you know. Yeah. When you get to the show and, and it, the job isn't done just by delivering them to the the venue, but you know, there's very few times I, I've went yeah. and and got doubts myself because I thinking, 
I should have got a moss barn, I should have done this or that, you know. Well, again, like, it's experience yeah, again, you know, it's, it's, if you didn't put the work in, you'd turn up there. No, and no, well, that's, prepared, that's what uh, always makes us do the work, I think. I'd hate to sit in the changing rooms thinking, I shouldn't have went on older, I shouldn't have done this, or I shouldn't have done that. I, w I wouldn't be in the game if, if, uh, if I put doubts in my own mind yeah. about... Uh, preparing that and I'm not going to mention any names but even on the local scene and you, you know from obviously further down south there's a lot of high profile boxers who haven't lived the life in between fights no, and things it's, like that and I, it's I tell everybody me you know it's you know it's not what you do in the gym it's what you do out the gym most yeah. of the time you know just like you, you, your time in the gym is small compared to your time out of the exactly. gym you know and just you can come in be the best trainer in the, in the country is uh, train, put the work in, but if, if you go home, have a sandwich, yeah. put your dancing gear on and out till early hours of the morning, you know, your rest and recovery just is non-existent. Well, the next day, you'll struggle. <coughs> and if you don't, and you try and do that two days running, the third yeah. day, you'll definitely struggle. So, you know, it is how you live out the ring. Exactly. It's, it's, I suppose it's like you can have like a can of Diet Coke with a full English breakfast. It's like, well, you, you know... You, you, you get you, away you, with things when you're young, and, and that's what that's why fighters burn out, you know. They, they can do things when you're young. Is, uh, you can get away with cheating. Mm -hmm. Then as soon as you try and keep it up, or you change your ways, it catches up with you. Yeah, well, July 5th, Stadium of Light. Yeah, looking forward it's, it's all happening, Neil. We'll uh, get down again here shortly. We'll do a full feature with the lads training and all yeah. different stuff. It's, uh, but it's great to be down here. Yeah. Cheers, man.